Hey, evening everybody, this is Sports on News, I'm Joe Bork, and this is going to be the latest edition of the Grittiest Take, as we react to another loss that had good in it, and then ultimately ended in bad, that resulted in the Flyers losing the game, 40 seconds later, sound familiar, after Lindblom had a beautiful blast, oh, finally, excuse me, get it past Jordan Bennington after the Flyers limited the Blues in shots after about the five minute mark of the second, all the way up to the point of Tarasenko scoring, he has a beautiful blast, scores, but it's all for Moot because then Tarasenko comes down, gets down on one knee, scores going down on the shot through the five hole of Martin Jones, who, by the way, was spectacular tonight, was the reason why the Flyers, before they toned it in on defense, other than that Tarasenko play in the third, after the five-minute mark of the second, Jones was big time as they had much more shots attempts. Yes, the shots were the same, but the attempts were much better. The Flyers also got in shooting lanes, having over 15 blocks in this game well. But in the end, it's the same things that happened in the Washington game and the same things that happened in the Pittsburgh game. They had falters in the third period where they played better overall hockey, and then they had a chance in the power play in the third, of course. Played too much to the outside for my liking along the boards. Got a few chances, but way too much along the boards play for my liking. So, again... As I said in past videos, the Flyers, this is a team I don't expect to see much wins from going forward. This is a team we expect to be in the top 10, maybe even the top 7, if not more, with the pick in this year's draft. But you still want to obviously see them having guys like Rackler played well again. Jerry Mayhew had chances. Uh, TK continued to make plays. Uh, Limbaugh continued to look good. Guys keep playing well and keep looking good in the right directions. And we saw that again tonight. Giroux also met, missed a couple chances. We hit a couple posts. So I think this game really could have went the other direction. If, of course, those posts ended up being bar down goals, etc., etc., and we hit the nets on a couple missed opportunities that Sanheim had, G had, Konechny, or not Konechny, Atkinson had, and etc., and etc. But overall, I would give this game again, the Flyers as a whole, Martin Jones plays spectacular. I would give him a A minus, honestly, for the way he played. I would give the team a B minus because it was going to be much higher with the way they battled back and played and kept pushing and played great defense after the five minute mark. Um, of the second and scored with Limblum if they didn't have the same woes that have continued all season. If 40 seconds later, you're able to have Tarasenko score, get it through the five hole of Martin Jones, and then you have the empty net goal, which I believe was by Ivan Barbashev, as he was able to seal it at the end. And that is how the Philadelphia Flyers um, fall <clears throat> in this game. As again, or And then we also had, of course, the empty net goal again as they pulled it by Brandon Saad. Uh, to make it 4-1, to one, which was just, you might as well pull the goalie again and try to fight for it. So there was two empty net goals, only two goals that Morton Jones let in. One by Vladimir Tarasenko, I don't think he really had much of a chance at all with. And then he also didn't have much of a chance at all with the Braden Shen one, where he made a great initial diving save. The ref somehow didn't think it went in. It did go in, and Braden Shen made a nice goal. It is what it is. This is just the way the season's going for the Flyers. They have some good in their play, like they did in Detroit, like they did in, or at um, home against Washington and like they did in Pittsburgh, but then faltered in the third. Where last game it was, they stepped up in the third to be able to get to OT. In this game, Lindblom had a great blast, but then they faltered 40 seconds later to allow a goal to Tarasenko. And that's how it is. Uh, they played good around the goaltender after the five-minute mark of the second throughout. Morton Jones had to step up before that in the entire game and then got hung out to dry on that play as they let Tarasenko cut into the slot and score. It's unfortunate for him. He probably did deserve a win in this game. Do Ricardo Hart deserve many more wins than he's got this season as well? So that is what it is. The Flyers, again, their similar woes in the game they overall played solid. Uh, their similar woes of just allowing goals immediately after they score affects them again. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Have a good night, and I'll be back around to preview the game for the Flyers on Saturday, which is at 12.30 p.m. and afternoon game. Peace out, everybody, and enjoy your week.